Hello and well, well, welcome to Buzz TV's The Daily News. When, 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 welcome. Welcome to 3D Buzz, the daily news for September 18th of 2007, brought to you as always by Side Effect Software. I'm Terry. We're going to jump right in some entertainment news. Uh, there's a rumor going around. This is actually could be a very delicious rumor. I hope it's true that a new Friday the 13th sequel is coming out. According to ShockTillYouDrop.com, new writers have come on board for a new Friday the 13th sequel. The last time Freddy's, uh, excuse me, Friday's killer Jason Voorhees graced the big screen was 2003's Freddy vs. Jason, which pit him against the Nightmare on Elm Street's Freddy Krueger. Damian Shannon and Mark Swift are said to have boarded the project as new writers no directors has been set yet hopes are uh, to begin shooting the sequel sometime in early 2008 before the strike hits hollywood if you guys don't know what i'm talking about go check that out apparently there's a big strike about about to happen where everyone's going to quit hollywood or something i don't know i don't really pay attention to that anyway uh moving on some gaming news uh this is a rather long one so see if you guys stick with me on this jack thompson says grand theft auto Fa auto 4 mission target is himself he threatens to block the release miami attorney Jack Thompson claims that he's being depicted in the game and wants out and he threatens to block the release of Grand Theft Auto 4 if Rockstar doesn't comply. In a document filed yesterday with a federal court in Florida, Thompson includes a letter written to Take-Two Chairman Strauss Zelnick, which reads in part I have this morning read with interest an article on page 80 and 81 of the September 2007 issue of Game Informer, Informer magazine and it revealed the first mission for Nico, the uh, star of Grand Theft Auto 4, is to kill a certain lawyer. When Nico comes to this lawyer's office, you having used subterfuge to do so, uh, he pulls a gun on the lawyer who says that the firm supports the Second Amendment and that guns don't kill people, video games do. The fact that the lawyer, ki the lawyer killed on Nico's first mission would bring up video games makes it clearly a reference to myself. This is not the first time Rockstar Games and Take-Two have targeted me in this fashion. You have until 5 o'clock p.m. this Friday <laughs> to inform me that I have been taken out of the game or I will stop all sales of Grand Theft Auto 4. Well, Jack, uh, good luck with that, because I'm no expert on law, and I'm sure you've practiced longer than I have, but I do think that there is a freedom to parody. I'm not quite sure how that works, but, you know, I think I saw it on Night Court once, so that might be where I got that from. Uh, Oklahoma violent game law has been overturned. A federal judge today handed down an opinion putting, on, uh, putting a stop to an Oklahoma law that created a $1,000 fine for disseminating violent games to minors. Oklahoma now joins California, Illinois, Louisiana, Michigan, Minnesota, and Washington and the list of states that have such laws been overturned by the U.S. courts. Besides reaffirming the off-stated judicial opinion that games are a form of speech protected by the First Amendment, U.S. District Court Judge Robin Cawthron included some harsh words for the defense in her opinion. Beyond defendants' generalized statements, there is a complete dearth of the legislative findings, scientific studies, or other rationale in the record to support the passage of the act. The opinion reads in part, defendants' argument that common sense dictates that violence Violent, or excuse me, playing violent video games is not good for children, and the onus is on plaintiffs to prove otherwise. It completely fails. So, yeah, ouch, that kind of hurts. Radio Shack, if, yeah, okay, well, I don't know why anybody would go to Radio Shack to buy these, but Radio Shack is going to start selling video games in store. A Radio Shack manager has confirmed to Joystick.com that the retailer will begin selling games and hardware at most of their stores nationwide on September 24th. The selection of titles will include Halo 3, Madden 08, and pretty much every big title that's going to come out for the holiday season. Wii gets a lightsaber action with the Force Unleashed. Finally, a lightsaber game for the Wii. LucasArts has announced its first generation, or excuse me, first next gen title with Star Wars. The Force Unleashed will be available across every single platform underneath the sun. Um, everything. Just look for it. It'll be out there. But the Wii will get an exclusive dual mode that will let players take part in lightsaber battles using the Wii remote. Apart from the lightsaber functionality, LucasArts says the Wii version of the game, in development by Chrome Studios, will also use the console nunchuck to control force powers which is going to be freaking awesome just throwing people yeah it's gonna be great anyway according to the developer the game takes place in the largely unexplored era between star wars episode 3 and star wars episode 4 players will take on the role of the secret apprentice to darth vader as they assist the iconic villain on his quest to rid the universe of the jedi 
Halo is no longer just a game for Microsoft. Microsoft wants video gamers to finish the fight when the last chapter of its Halo trilogy comes out next week. But a carefully crafted merchandising strategy will make sure the Space Marine prota uh, protagonist, Master Chief, lives on for years to come. Microsoft is literally letting the system ride on the capable shoulders of the Master Chief. Halo is crucial to the success of Microsoft's Xbox video game business, which has lost billions of dollars since it was started in 2001 as a way to counter Sony's growing dominance. The PS3's high price, still $500, after a July cut is the biggest factor behind its woes, but Sony has also failed to deliver a true system killer, a game so good that people will buy a particular console just to play it. Of course, Halo 3 is just such that title, and you, as you could probably notice, if you start looking around, Xbox 360s have gone up, so not in price, I'm sorry, but the sales have gone up. Uh, moving on to tech news, Eclipse opens doors to the PHP crowd. The Eclipse Foundation on Tuesday released Eclipse PHP Development Tools 1.0, software that hopes it will open Eclipse up to millions of PHP web developers. Eclipse has become a widely used integrated development environment for Java programmers, but scripting or dynamic languages like PHP have become increasingly popular, particularly for the front-end development. Now people trained in Eclipse can write PHP applications and get access to about 1,400 plugins. IBM to offer free word processing and office software. IBM on Monday said it would start offering free word processing and other office software, joining a growing group of companies with free applications challenging a core Microsoft core uh, product. IBM said it would offer document, spreadsheet, and presentation software and a group of tools called Lotus Symphony.